educator, broadcasting pioneer, naturalist icon. Jim Fowler dedicated his career to wildlife research and conservation and was passionate about educating the public about our natural world. Jim died on May 8, 2019, at age 89. Through his research, his presence on Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, and his many television and public appearances, Jim shared his commitment to preserving wildlife and their natural habitats. It seems that Jim was born to work with wildlife, especially his early dedication to studying birds of prey. In fact, the name Fowler means someone who trains birds of prey. Jim's interest in nature started with his family outings throughout Georgia swamplands, giving him opportunities to interact with the many reptiles, mammals, and birds that reside there. After earning his degree in zoology, Jim traveled to the northern Amazon rainforest in 1955 to research harpy eagles, one of the world's largest raptors. He became the first person to capture live harpy eagles for research, developing his reputation as an adventurous explorer and wildlife researcher. I was asked by Dave Garraway on the Stay Show to, to bring those big eagles on, into New York. I had met Marlon Perkins earlier, three or four years before that. But on that program, Marlon Perkins and Sir Edmund Hillary were in Chicago on the same show that I was appearing on in New York. So Marlon remembered me, and he called me the next week and said, would I come to Chicago with those eagles? Jim became a beloved part of Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, starting with the pilot episode that aired on January 6th in 1963. He co-hosted with both Marlon Perkins and me, Peter Gross, during the two decades of the original Wild Kingdom programming. Jim continued to represent Wild Kingdom until his death. Hey, I had a problem. I went to a small college in Indiana uh, called Earlham College. It was belonged to the Society of Friends of Quakers, which was my background, my father's background. My father was a scientist, and I studied all four forms of science. Earlham College was very high on the list of PhDs in science, and so, uh, but I got a disease at Earlham College, and I think Peter actually got the same disease, I don't know how, <laughs> but my disease was, which I tell people, I'd say, my disease was that nobody told me what I couldn't do. Jim went on to become the wildlife correspondent on NBC's Today Show, and appeared as a regular guest on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson more than 100 times. Jim's television and public appearances, as well as his decades of research and preservation efforts, inspired many of our current generations of wildlife conservationists to take on and continue his mission. Jim was a good friend of mine for more than 30 years, and I was honored to work with him. Jim was passionate about respecting our natural world and preserving the quality of life for both animals and humans alike. I continue the commitment to teaching the public about wildlife and wild places. The big point today is not that the animal needs saving. The big point is that we humans, uh, if we destroy ecosystems in natural areas, we may not survive because we're part of the Earth's ecosystem. That's the message that I try to get out.